Around 200 people, mostly in the business sector, are now at Royal Phuket City Hotel to attend the IMTGT or Indonesia Malaysia Thailand Growth Triangle Joint Business Council to discuss cooperation in various areas. The meeting was inaugurated yesterday by the Thai Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Kodsak Sabhavasu. The Governor of Krebi and Vice Governor of Phuket and Panga also attended the meeting. Chairman of the IMTGT Business Council of Thailand, Mr. Tanarak Pongpatar, reported that the triangle of joint development covers 67.5 million people in three nations, comprising 14 provinces in southern Thailand, 10 provinces of Indonesia, and 8 states of Malaysia. The area of cooperation covers human development, trade and investment, halal products and services, agriculture, agro-based industry, environment, and tourism. The Thai Deputy Prime Minister, Kobusak Sabavasu, during his opening speech, reaffirmed the Thai government's commitment in the partnership, pointing out that nations need to work together to better development. I would like to reaffirm our government uh, partnership and commitment to INTGT. It's interesting when you when you just look at you know INTGT JBC meetings, and if you are an outsider, then you probably think what's going on there. You know, I is Indonesian, M is Malaysian. T, of course, is Thailand. GT, what? Growth Triangle, something like that. Basically, what we're looking at is how best to be big than just being small. Because we all believe that being big is beautiful. Being big is where the world should be heading. When, when I I was in a meeting with the ASEAN. We have 10 countries, and seems like that's not enough. So we have ASEAN plus three, and then come along ASEAN plus six. But basically what we're looking at is, is that as to develop our country, I think it's all come down to the point that we don't think we can do it alone. And it's very true, you know, for the ASEAN, 10 countries, you count the area, the number of population, the size is about, about uh, India. Look at Thailand alone, and we, we show to the world that we are ready to be part of the society that we want to invite investment, blah, blah, blah. And then the investor look at us and say, hey, why should we go to Thailand? If we set up the factory there, there's only 60 million people. And they are not, not all of them are middle or high income that within the brackets that will be our clients. Why not invest in India? Why not do it all in China? But if the ASEAN integration can come through, can be realized within the next few years as we plan, then when we invite them to Thailand, we will say, look, Thailand is this at this at that, but the market is just as big as India. When the tourist people want to come to Vietnam, they get a visa in Vietnam and then they can come to Thailand without going through any kind of headaches. So basically, the world is looking at something like small is good, but big is better. During his opening remarks, he also pointed out that tourism is very important as it involves all parties in society. So you get 70 million people 
about the, the economic size is about half of Thailand GDP at the moment. So what we're looking at is, is the thought of, I always look at countries as companies sometimes. So the IMT company core business would be like what? Tourists? Halal industry? <laughs> so if, if you look at it like that, and then and then we, we go in further and we go and look at and see who is based at what, you know? And then that would be a leader and the others would tag, tag along. And it, it just completes the whole package. So uh, I don't know who's, who's the leading out of, you know, in tourist industry. I don't know who should be a big brother in the halal industry. But what I would like to say is that that tourism is is very very important because the money that tourists spend goes into just every sector, every level of society. The Thai Deputy Prime Minister also took the opportunity to explain to core business participants about Thailand's roadmap for national reconciliation and stability and that it is being carried out alongside the economic stimulus packages. So very well at the very end, but we give them some time. We, have, we are able to set up two committees. One is just to investigate during the, 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 the riot that if the government did anything illegally, anybody died, uh, anybody got shot by the M16 gun, you know, that's being printed on the newspaper. So that committee would do just that. And if, there is, if we, we have enough evidence that there is some wrongdoer, then the government will go after them. We have second committee that do the reconciliation process. We will talk about whether the constitution should be amended. We are talking about amnesty bill, blah, blah, blah. So all of this will be done within three months' time. Hopefully, if there are still some argument on certain items, we go to the people. We call for the reference. So I think we do have a roadmap to reconciliation, to peace, to stability. Then what? If things go well, on the economic front, we do two stimulus packages. One urgently during the trips, you know, I told you about extensive Prime Minister went overseas. During that period, uh, we do the, the urban, urban emergency stimulus package, which uh, we want to increase aggregate demand, we put cash into the hands of the people, we, we do several things, uh, we help the elderly, all of this was a short period of time to buy us some time to do the complete overall of the second stimulus package, which we call Job Creation Program. And that is all about investing for the future. And that is all about investing in the infrastructure of tourist industry that you are all waiting for. And we'll be spending ever, never before in the deep south of the magnitude of about 50, 50 billion but just for within a year or two on everything from education to halal industry. So uh, what I'm saying is that is that what I want to to stress is the importance of the core business that you people are working on, the the tourism industry, the halal industry, that that the government is fully behind. Uh, the second day of the meeting, representatives from public and private sectors will have business matching sessions where they can meet and discuss business trading and exchanges in tourism. And the Thai part will focus on tourism and push for Phuket to be a hub for health tourism and the software industry. <laughs>